How you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> we are on the podcast. I've got fast fret fingers here. We're live. We're live. <laughs> Well, we're live right now, but well, be yeah. recorded later. <laughs> yep, exactly. So uh, I was really looking forward to today's episode for obvious, yes. for obvious reasons. So uh, what do we do on uh, Sunday, Todd? Oh, for myself, I for the first time, I went to the, the VR. Uh, you know what? I can't remember the name of the place. Do uh, VR is what it was called. Which one? It's called Do VR. Do VR? Um, yeah, it's uh, it was quite the uh, quite the experience. Because um, I mean, I've seen you know years ago when they used to have those things where they had the VR glasses. Do you remember that? Like eons ago, back uh, when um, Max Headroom and all those oh, guys yeah. were big. Okay, and yeah. then they had the virtual reality, and it was all cartoonish, you know, type thing. Yeah, 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 kind of the same. Kind of the same realm, but it, it, and it more, from what you saw there was was really really hokey compared more, to now. Was it more three D than actual virtual reality, or because I never actually tried one of those things? No. Back then. Um, what's that game that, that kids play? That's it's almost like blocks and stuff, and they put together. Oh, uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. It was almost like a Minecraft version of. Of, of 3D back in the day. Ah, okay. Uh, but I don't know if they ever really pursued it, but now they've they've almost perfected it. Um, whereas when you move your head, there's no delay at all. You know those Wii controllers, you know, when you, you did stuff, it would, you know, it would track, but it wasn't that precise, and then they came out with version 2 yeah. uh, of these things that made them a little more precise. You know, as time goes on, things kind of go... Um, and they get better when it comes to technology. So these headsets, like when you moved your head, it moved like instantaneous. There was no delay. You know, you looked up in the air. I mean, you could see it was, it was wild because when you first put this thing on and then you, it, it's all like they give you, uh, it almost looks like you're in this room that's just massive, like a couple of football fields, you know, big. Yeah, and it's and you looked up and you looked down and then you had you know just the, the pictures and stuff and then gears and things started moving, and it it just seemed like you were just right in the middle of it. It was just just wild. And then there was little rooms. They were what ten by ten or twelve by twelve. They're just square rooms. Yeah, yeah, pretty small. Yeah, and it was great. I mean, they had headgear on. They had the uh, the wiring, I guess, on the top, I guess, so that when you're in the middle of the room, you can kind of move around a bit without being restricted. Yeah, and it was nice that they had the um, when you had the goggles on to be able to tell where your barriers were. This grid would would show up very faintly and, and get you know uh, uh, more prominent as you get closer to the wall. Just so you know, I mean, you could move maybe a step here or there, but that was about it. Everything yeah. else was run many, by a controller. How many times did you hit the wall? Uh, <laughs> I didn't, but I think Paulo. I think he was throwing a grenade. I think he, well, I think I, he nailed one of the walls. Yeah, he did. Yeah, I did too. Actually, I was like. Because uh, I think I killed myself with a grenade a couple of times in this game, and um, I'm like, "Fuck this! Like, I'm gonna throw. I'm really gonna pitch the grenade. I whack the side of the wall pretty hard, right? Because uh, I guess because the booths are so small, if you really want to f- like throw something that you pick up in the game, and you right. want you want it to go far, like the the harder you s- th- like with the, like I I know you didn't do the grenade thing too much, but the harder you actually throw, the further the grenade actually goes. Yeah, the, the, it actually the, matters. The physics of it were great. I mean, you could throw it. I mean, I couldn't. The first time I had the grenade, um, I was able to hit a button and then it pulled the pin. So then I could throw it, and that one worked. Then after that, for some reason, I don't know, maybe I was pressing the wrong button or something, but it, I, I couldn't get it to throw the pin after that. Yeah. But uh, but yeah, it just. I mean, the whole thing comes up here in the middle of Arizona somewhere, and then they get this big awning over you, like those uh, camouflage awnings, yeah. like on MASH or Just for thing, clarification, then, we were playing a, a game called Arizona Sunshine. Yeah. 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 But anyway, which, uh, which was pretty much just killing zombies, which was which was pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, with the, you had all the crates and stuff. Like, you could walk up to the crates. You could actually walk through the crates, actually. Uh, a couple of times, I almost 
leaned on a crate, not realizing that <laughs> there wasn't really a crate there. Um, but yeah, at the beginning, it, it, it kind of had to fumble around for the first five minutes to know, you know, how and what everything went. I mean, you had to do the you had to do the calibration at the beginning with the, the handhelds, right, from I think to your sides and then to your waist, so you know where your your ammo buckle would be. Uh, I don't think I did mine correctly because my ammo buckle was was on my chest. Oh yeah, <laughs> well when I looked at you, your legs were had this really severe bend in them, <laughs> and you looked like a centaur or something. Like you had these like like um, not centaur. What do you call those things? Satires or whatever. Those guys, little guys that play the flute, and they get the hairy oh. legs. You looked like okay. that. You had like your legs went backwards. Like they had this weird bend that went backwards. Like almost like they were going to go into hooves. Or something. Oh. <laughs> you were walking around. I'm like, there's Satan <laughs> with the with the hooved feet. Yeah, that's me. That's me. <laughs> yeah. Was that Devilus or no? What was the? Um, what was the? Oh, that's from the Hercules cartoon. Uh, yeah, the 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 goat that's pan flute. Yeah. Herc, Herc. Yeah. You repeated it. everything twice. <laughs> what the hell was that guy's name? Anyway, yeah, I'm sure so someone will reply here and let us know. But anyway. Um, yeah, so yeah, it was, it was cool because when the crate, when it first starts, you have the, the handgun on the crate, right? So you yeah. press the button, you grab it, and then you, but the thing is, you bring it up to your face, and you look at the handgun, and it just, it looks exactly like a handgun. Yeah. And, you know, you can aim it wherever you want, you turn it around, and then your other hand, when you you move it over, like your, your hand, it's a hand hand, and then you kind of move it over to, to look at your watch, and it, it shows you what your health is, which is pretty cool. That's a good way health to track your health, health, actually. I, I like that. Yeah, it's kind of like an eye watch or one of those things <laughs> type things. And when you're firing the gun, it's 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 not like uh, you know when you play the video games, they get the little crosshairs where you kind of aim. Yeah. Well, this doesn't have that. This is an actual you know someone gave you a gun and you're going to shoot it. This is you know this you have to how, actually yeah. aim. This is, how, this is with, how you do it. Yeah, with with the uh, you know the sights and everything. So you know, it's pretty cool because you'd have to nail the zombies in the head, um, and then they would. But if you're not oh. holding your gun straight, like if you're not holding your gun properly in the real world, you're going to shoot above the head or in the chest or, or whatever, right? Yeah. Uh, the only thing I found is, you know, even if I, like I've got, you know, fairly decent aim. And then when you see the projectile come out, I mean, no, most of the time it would hit the target because you're bang on, right? Yeah. Uh, but sometimes it would kind of go way off to the side. It's almost like, okay, we're going to put some type of, uh, you know, air built in here to say that okay well you can't shoot straight all the time well you know what if I'm shooting in this direction that's exactly where it should go never mind with this uh, well if you're doing a machine gun we're going to put one straight and all the other ones are going to put like 10-12 feet away from your target but if you're actually aiming at it there's no reason why you shouldn't be able to hit it well I noticed at least when that, I, that's my the one thing I noticed is that when you were shooting because I was looking at you with your with your centaur feet and right. uh, <laughs> I know the, the 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 trajectory of your bullets. I actually watched you from the side shooting at a right. zombie in front of you, right. and the bullet didn't track right. Like I'd see the zombie go down. You obviously shot him in the head, but right. the way I saw you, the way your bullet hit him from the side, that wasn't even close. But your oh. height was was screwed up from your your calibration setup, your initial well, calibration setup. Well, I don't know because because. Because both of you guys, when I was looking at both of you, you guys are both about the same height as you normally are, and I, 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 yeah. I it seemed like I felt a little taller in, you know, in the game. Yeah. But I mean, I don't know how that. I mean, I think it all goes by the height of probably when you're doing your calibration to your waist and whatnot. Probably, right. Yeah. Because there's a calibration. How tall you are. There's a calibration to your waist, and then there's an arm length calibration that you have to do too. Right. So I mean, well, whatever. I mean, so yeah. would you? So. Your experience with the VR was awesome. What did you think of the game itself? I mean, the game itself was good. Uh, it was a little restrictive in the area that you had to be in for for that. I mean, for that particular game. I mean, it was okay. I mean, you could go around and stuff. But I mean, when those zombies start coming in droves, it's like okay, you can only reel it so fast. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, depending on, especially when you haven't really played. I mean, if it was a, if there was a different, uh, say, level, you had like easy, medium, and hard. If you had the option of, of picking one, yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, it's not costing them anything whether you're playing one or not because you're there for a certain amount of time. You're not there for you know, true, 
but I mean, it's the game itself. So I mean, yeah. yeah. But but it's and but it's a wave. It's a yeah. Like I've played wave. So it's basically a wave mode. You'd, you'd kill a certain number of zombies, and then you you finish the wave, and it would just get harder and harder and harder. Yeah, um, and before the wave was, grab your ammo, grab your burgers, because there was a barbecue. Yeah, there was that barbecue there, and then you could you know you look at your health, you hit a couple times. You grab a burger physically off the barbecue, put it in your mouth, and then your health would go up. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Paula was even able to use the tennis ball to take a zombie out. Very, I don't know very hands on. Yeah. So there's objects you can grab and throw, like outside of grenades and stuff. Yeah, like Paulo, Paulo's our, is uh, my brother-in-law. He was actually he took a zombie out like throwing something at its head. I think it was a tennis ball. Or maybe yeah, it was like a can of water or something. I can't remember. <laughs> but he just clocked that zombie right in the head, and the zombie dropped. I was like, mm-hmm. "Wow, that was awesome!" I I, was I didn't think you could use the objects, but I, yeah, you can. Yeah, that's pretty wild. So now I've played this. Now this is the third time I've played this game, this particular game, and um, I actually the last the time before this it was just, there was just two of us, so we actually played the campaign. Which maybe you and I need to go back just separately, just if you're interested in playing the campaign. Because I think we're pretty freaking good at this point. I think we made it like through 10 waves on this game. Um, yeah, at the, at the beginning, uh, I was having a really hard time because what was happening is after my gun, like once you, once you run out of bullets, like on a real gun, when you have those magazines in it, uh, it it's almost. Uh, the end of the gun protrudes, like the, the barrel protrudes type yeah. thing, and they yeah. basically you have to load another clip, right? Yeah. But what was happening was I was rubbing it and trying to, to, to find the clip on my on the, my belt, right? Yes. And what was happening was the gun would stay on my belt, and then I had and I oh. put my hand up and I just have my hand. And I'm like, where the hell is my gun? And then I'd look down, and everything's kind of blurred a little bit. So, but you could make out where the gun was. So then I have to search for it. <laughs> And then by then I die. So I mean, I, I died multiple times just trying to reload. Yeah, because I couldn't ditto. get the damn thing to work. But once I figured out that the reload was at my chest point, <laughs> then I was then I could do it way fa- way faster. But. Yeah, I had issues with the reload, and I had issues hitting the 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 button, that big circular button that lets you eject the uh, the empty clip. I had trouble with that too. Oh, did you? Yeah, towards the end of the game, like I I I'd, I'd mastered it from playing this game twice before. And right. it was pretty good and making sure it was calibrated. Yeah, I was pretty good at that. So, right. Um, but at the end, like I talked to the guy, I guess it was a bit gl- like the game can get glitchy. Yeah. And and things can move. So, originally I would put my hand, like palm to my to my hip, and it would reload. Right. But then it wasn't working anymore. So then I had to put like the the top of my hand, like kind of the top of the gun, to my hip to get it to reload. So I, oh, okay. it says it gets glitchy if you, you know, if you play play it for a while, it's, uh, it can get glitchy, and it's sometimes just better to to go back into the game, right? Like exit, and go well, back was, in. Well, they had to we had to reload the game because at the very beginning you weren't even there. Like it was yeah. just Paulo and, and myself that I could see. I think you could see. I, who, I saw everybody and I heard everybody. Yeah, but you could. But see I couldn't. Me. I couldn't hear you. I couldn't see you. So yeah. So then we had to kind of reload the game. And it kind of starts off in a trailer, and you look around, you see the fan going. You look up, you can see daylight through the vents, and there's a locker door you can open. It's just, it's just that alone, like just picking stuff up. I think, was just awesome. Yeah. Before you even got in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's, it's. It. I think there's still. I don't think it's perfect yet. Like I think there's still. It's still glitchy. Um, mm-hmm. I talked to the owner that, that that ran this place, and he said right. like this technology hasn't been out that long. Right. Like he said, like uh, some of these games are a year old or, or whatever, so it's a fairly new thing, and I mean it's pretty like it is very awesome, but I think it, it still has it can make a few strides just to kind of nail some of those little bug buggy things or. But I mean, it was it was fun. Now the question I have for you is: It good enough? I mean, it's fun to go somewhere and play these games and you know go for an hour and a half, but is right. it worthwhile? To play longer than that, like to, to buy something at home and to spend an evening doing it. Well, here's the, here's the thing. Um, I like you guys have your Xboxes and stuff that you guys play, and I'm I'm a PC gamer. Yep. 
Now, the thing is, is I bought laptops in the past for gaming. Yep. This last one that I bought is actually VR ready. And the stupid thing is, is when I was there and you looked down and it said Steam. So I'm like, Steam? So I'm like, oh, well, maybe I can, maybe I could download, you know, a game and, and, and play it. Like, I'd probably need the goggles. But it's, yeah. uh, it, it is VR ready. Yep. My, uh, my system. So cool. it's like, yeah. So, I mean, I could, uh, but I'm not too sure. I think I was, I was trying to look at, uh, how much that he- whole headset was. Oh, did you, did you get a chance to check? And- but, uh, no, I, I, I started looking and then I had to, I was kind of at work at the last five minutes. I figured I'd punch it in just to see if I could find it, but, um, I found it, but I, I couldn't find a price on it yet. Okay. So I'll take a look at that. But yeah, I mean, if it's I'm like two, three hundred dollars, I mean, being new, I would probably wait a little while. Yeah, because there'll see. be something better comes out in a year, and then you're stuck with hardware. Yeah. If it's a software it, thing where but, the you know if, if it's just software that you're downloading, and you know there's always patches, but how do you patch equipment? <laughs> you know. Yeah, but I mean, if that Arizona one is available for to download from Steam just to play as a regular, yeah. I mean, even that would be pretty cool. Well, it's a, it was it's a fun game. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good with a with a mouse. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure you are. Um, but, uh, so I like I did some research too, and the PS4 ha- does have VR capabilities as well. But I don't yes. know if there's anything for the Xbox. I didn't kind of dig that far. And again, the cost of it, um, like. My understanding, just like I didn't do, I didn't inquire very much, but it's basically the cost of another console if you're going to buy the VR stuff. And if yeah. it's only for like two games, you know, like there's not a lot of games out yet. Period. Yeah. I mean, it's good. I mean, I'm sure it was a mad rush to get it out. Yep. And to say we're the first ones to do it. I mean, uh-huh. I'm sure there's, there's going to be bugs and glitches and stuff, but as long as they get out first, people, you know, people have got. You know, yeah. gas or they call it yep. gear acquisition syndrome or whatever they're going to go out and buy it all these rich kids right so they're going to yep. go out and, and buy this stuff they're going to make their money and then they'll reinvest it and hopefully get something out that's even better before someone else even you know gets out of the gate uh, to try and get ahead of everyone else so I mean uh, PlayStation has done it uh, now I mean the PC realm has done it I mean, whether or not, you know, Xbox and, and, uh, and Nintendo, I, I don't know. Well, who knows? Because Nintendo's got, you know, the things on the remotes already. Yeah, and didn't we, you, we had a podcast before where we talked about what, how to save, how to, how to save Nintendo. Do you remember right. what we had said? Well, they, well, we, well, there's multiple things. Well, no, but we, we made, talked, we talked about VR. Like, that was one of the things we threw out there. Like, yeah, there is, I mean, it, they they can yeah. they can make these types of things these types of parts to their uh, consoles and do right. them better than anyone else, but they haven't done that in a while. Like like VR might be the way to go, and they can create a VR that's a affordable, like the Wii was affordable. Yeah, and, then I mean, have, they have, the, and yeah. have it not just be shooter games, but have it be family friendly games, and then they could totally win this VR war. Yeah, yeah. I mean they did they did the non VR version. Uh, with the controllers, yep. When they, you know, and they had the sports one, they had the, you know, bowling and you know stuff like that. Uh, I mean, just to add the extra thing where you can put the headset on and actually yeah. look around yep. in the bowling alley. But the only thing is, is the only problem with that is now your whole site is now impaired. So yes. if your house is not set up like it is at the VR place, you're gonna be tripping over coffee tables and busting nose, and you know it's not gonna be good so, <laughs> because not everybody's gonna be diligent to say, okay, oh, sure. we need this much space, well, and then now we're gonna now we're gonna sue them, company. And yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of that too that they're thinking of, and they gotta kind of think twice. Sure. Well, that when when the Wii came out originally, they had they had lawsuits galore. Um, oh, you know, people, people just throwing in their controllers <laughs> and, and stuff like that. So I mean, it's the same thing, but I think if anything. Nintendo's probably in a better position because they got hit with all that shit before anyone else did because right. they're the only ones that had it out. But the one right. thing that came out just, I don't know, in the last month or so is that Xbox, like they invented what was connected, called the Kinect, which is basically, 
which is basically we, but the only the only difference between that is the Connect was controller free. You didn't use controllers at all. It, it, well, it mean like it, when you're waving your hand and stuff, yeah, it, yeah. it would recognize your, yeah. your face and, and your body and yeah, stuff. Yeah, completely, tra- would... completely tracked you. It would, uh, you would calibrate it so it recognized your hands and your feet and your head and your yeah. body temperature to, to find you. And yeah. um, it, I mean, it worked good. And I still think the Kinect is pretty awesome. But uh, Xbox has announced that they're not going to be supporting it anymore. Which means, I think, you know, let's go in the direction of VR, maybe, and let's work on that, but... Yeah, I guess the R&D, it depends on where they're going to put the money. But, I mean, they, with all these different consoles and, and things, and the things that they've actually done the research for, if you combine them all together, I mean, you have one kick-ass system. Like, just the connects alone, you walk into the room, you're going to play your game, it sees your profile... It knows exactly who the person is. Yep. It loads the person up right away. There's yep. step one, number one. Well, that's how the Kinect the... works. You could, act, you, if you walked yeah. into the room where your Xbox was, it turned your Xbox on, turned your TV on, logged you in based on facial recognition, mm. and then you would just tell it what to do. Like you didn't have to touch anything. You didn't have to turn nothing on. It just it recognized you when you came in the room. It's pretty cool, exactly. actually. If you think about it. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. I mean, even when we were playing, uh, we were playing that game with the was it the raft thing? We were jumping up and down. Oh and my god! Yeah, take pictures every once in yeah, a while, yeah, like yeah. you're like in midair yeah. thing, and they're they're funny as hell. I forgot about that game. That, that was actually really fun. I still have that game. Yeah, I, I, I mean, have a few the same, of those games. Yeah, so, I mean, you could do VR stuff too, and you could take pictures every once in a while. And you could have it, you could save it in a like, section where you could look at them after, and all you do you want to see the pictures or save them. Or, you know, <laughs> so I'm just a yeah. couple of minutes from home here. So I just I want one more point I wanted to touch on was uh, okay. as th- as this relates to VR is in movie theaters and stuff. The the big thing is 3D, right? And 3D Ooh. isn't super readily accepted right right now. Like it was, it's a fad, and yeah, it still makes money, but it it seems to have seems to have declining returns. Right. Um, it's not the big hit that everyone thought it was going to be people are like I don't really want to pay $10 more like I don't want to pay double on my movie ticket or you know or uh, you know 25% more or 50% more to go see a 3D movie when I can see in 2D I don't need the 3D the 3D right. isn't all that great why am I paying extra like people complain and bitch about it all the time so really I find this, them darker for some reason yeah well it, I think because they're using multiple multiple projectors so I mean for yeah. every more layer you put on the darker the picture well it's a lot it's a lot brighter now than it, than it used to be like when it came out so okay. my question is with 3D being kind of people a lot of people just completely resisting it and it's not doesn't have the growth that it that they predicted it would VR is really the same thing do you think VR is going to be kind of a, a flavor that came in that some people might pay more for or that everyone eventually console wise at the very least if not pc wise is I, everyone I, go, is everyone going to switch or is everyone going to go screw this it it's not that much better what i do you think i i can't see that being a mainstream i can see it being like when they come up with the imax okay the imax was a specific theater for specific movies that run all those, you know, that big wide film or yeah. whatever they were using, right? So, I mean, if you were to go to, say, Famous Players or something, they're not going to have eight theaters with VR. First of all, it's yeah, going to cost you an arm and a leg just for the, the headset. People are, are people don't want to put the glasses on. Never mind the whole, whole headgear. Yeah. If you can have a 3D movie, just a strictly 3D movie, without the glasses... You would have a lot more people going to the theaters because you have one less thing you have to worry about. Yes. You're eating popcorn. You get grease on your fingers because they put that, I don't know, full <laughs> butter or whatever. You get it everywhere, right? Yeah. And you just have to touch your glasses, and now it's like, well, yeah, are you going to watch shirt, it And now your shirt's got the stain. It's like it's too much of a hassle. It's not. It's not a big hassle, but it's just enough of a hassle. 
Same with 3D TVs. I, I mean, they came out. They were good. I really don't know. Like, is, but they're not doing well sales wise. Have they grown not. or have they kind of diminished? Because well, no. I mean, now they're just kind of going with 4K. They're trying to make the pictures clearer, not you know. But I mean, they 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 have their own spot for sure. But yeah. if they had a VR theater, yes, yes, you could do that. You, I mean, you you would have to upfront like loads of cash. Even this place is the VR place, I'm sure with the because the systems that you need to run these have to be massive. Then when you looked up you could see these these boxes. They weren't these little uh, all in one units. These were oh, actual no. gaming machines. Yeah. And they're huge. And I'm sure there's a lot of heat coming out of these things. Oh yeah, for sure. But uh, I mean you'd have to have a uh, like a network room <laughs> Just to, just to run the VR uh, for everyone to see. Although it, it would be cool. Yeah. I mean, if you could say, uh, say if you were a bachelor or something, and you had a TV and uh, you had some VR goggles and you had it hooked up to the TV, you just sit back and, and and look around. If you had like say an extra ninety degrees on each side of you, like peripheral vision, where you yeah. could actually go back and forth, and then same with up and down, but not so much a three sixty. Yep. Because then you're not really paying attention to the movie anymore. Yeah, exactly. Now you're paying attention to the to the camera people behind that now yeah. they have to it, blue screen and get rid of. <laughs> I think that's what some people complain about 3D is it takes away from the movie, like the story. Like it's not just spectacle and, you know. Yeah. It's... And, and some people are freaks out too. So, I mean, you 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 get people that first see it and then they have to, they, you know, they get nauseous or dizzy or they have to, or it's just too, just too much. <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, I've made it home. Sorry, I, I, I probably talked through the whole. Thing. That's good. Oh, the whole thing, but but yeah, it was a, it was an amazing amazing experience, and I definitely would recommend it. Yeah, I mean, definitely. we're gonna go do it again. I, I don't think there's yeah. a doubt there. It's not something we're gonna do every weekend, but you know. No, no, and it's I mean it's it's a, it's a little bit cost prohibitive too. I mean, it's not it's not something. It's not like the arcade. You're gonna go, you know, get a couple of rolls of quarters. This is no, no, no. This is a higher. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's, but but there's no stopping. It's not like you're plugging in, stop, and you have to get some more quarters. And like, yeah, yeah. You know, that type of thing. Just like you go in, you pay, you pay by the hours. Like you you're going to the car wash or whatever. Yep. Depending where you're going, and then you just you know just go to town un- uninterrupted. Yep. Yeah. But right. uh, but yeah, just just this last thing. Sorry. Yep. Uh, and you had mentioned before, like when you're done the game. Yep. And you come out of it, there is a, a, a transition period where you have to kind of come back to uh, reality kind of in a way. Just just the way movements and stuff. Yep. It, it, it was almost like it was it was super clear and fast in the game. And then uh, when we got out of it, it was almost like everything was running at 60 hertz. It was kind of yes. a little choppier for some reason. I don't know. It didn't make sense. But No, no, it's true. Um, but, but it did pass after a while. What I noticed, though... Um, the third. This is my third time. I didn't get okay. that at all this time. No. Okay. No. So you you get a, you you get acclimated to it. Right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I I could see that if you've gone a couple times, and you know what to expect. When, but when you first come out, it's uh, you may not want to drive right after. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of hang out for a little bit yeah. and just. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was it was most excellent. Yeah. Most excellent. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. All righty. Let's, uh, we'll bow out here, and uh, we'll see everyone on the flip side. All righty, then. All right. We'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. See uh, ya. See ya. Okay. Bye.